Hello, today we are on the road again and we have traveled to Augsburg in Bavaria, the south of Germany. And we are visiting the Staatstheater Augsburg, which is the state theater down here, where Marco Vitale works. And we are going to meet him and see how they work with capture and what they are working on down here. and um, <laughs> For example. everything inside um, is built so we can use it. Mm. Um, yeah, that's nice. It's nice when, when you don't just have to adapt to the building. Yes, but which, can. which is in a Martini Park as well. Um, it was just an empty, empty space and we, we built our theater oh. inside that. Um, here's actually... <laughs> The entrance for oh, the audience. Fine. We keep that. Wow. We keep that uh, industrial <laughs> style of the building because it's it is a beautiful architecture and. I imagine when when the architect of the gas plant. Drew, drew the building. He didn't imagine the theater would keep the, no, <laughs> this part no. for its beauty. No. <laughs> oh, but it it has it, it, it yeah it, it fits it it belongs here um, hmm. and Indeed. yeah we adapted it. This was I think it was an old lift. Uh, this seems very stuck here, but yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but of course that is that was important to keep parts of that uh, old building here. That's cool. Um, when the show when the show is running, uh, people can go inside here, eat in the restaurant uh, during the intermissions or before or after, and then they go up here to the stage. This is the small small stage. <clears throat> so now we are at the the stage of the Gaswerk uh, Theater or the Gaswerk yes. stage, basically. Yeah, no, that's um, the Brechtbühne was. Um, the first, uh, the first small stage we, we built after we had to move out of the old Comedia. Mm -hmm. um, it was a container, basically. And after we had to move out of the big house, we used the inside of the container and put it here. So how long have you been, um, how long have you been a capture user, Marco? Um, I looked it. I looked it up. <laughs> I looked it up. Um, I, my first show I did in Capture was 2012. 2012. And the cool thing in 2012 was that the demo version didn't close. You couldn't save, but it didn't close right. automatically. So I ran the demo version for like four weeks and never <laughs> shut down the, the, the computer, never, That's great, yeah? <laughs> never closed the capture. <laughs> and uh, so you were in fact on Capture Polar at some point. Yes, 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 I started with Polar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it yeah. was, yeah. Because I think we did Capture 2015, I don't remember, I think we did 2015 and then a few years later came Polar. And yeah. then we went crazy with the names. And yeah. Then, right. then we got and back to the numbers back again. Back to the numbers, right. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and then I uh, asked the, the library um, for the Reich and Vogel uh, Niedervolt ah, yeah. Scheinwerfer. Niedervolt Parabolspiegel Scheinwerfer. Right. Yes. <laughs> and Besonderes Gerät. <laughs> very, very special, very special fiction, <laughs> which was in the old house. Um, do you still and have one lying around? I think in the maybe in the in the basement of the other building. Uh, we uh, we can right. we can look bonus. for them, <laughs> um, or we do a little uh, a little. Uh, uh, we we can go to the to the storage. There are a lot of them, <laughs> oh, yeah. right. um, and as I got that fixture implemented in like two days or three, I decided to buy a capture because it was. 
su their support was so great um, that even that special fixture I needed um, was implemented in three days or four, mm -hmm. and it was so fast. And it was that was the decision why I bought a capture license and not a, a Vectorworks or. A, Something else. Something else. <laughs> Those who we do not mention. And by that's, name. Uh, yeah. So I'm a capture user for 11 years now. 11 years. Yeah. From that time on, I was hooked. Hooked <clears throat> and really addicted to working with capture. I did a lot of crazy stuff and I, I, I love. I love pushing things to its limits. Like I do with my lighting, I do with my art. I do with software and also I do it with capture. That's why I this think is you how guys, we get gray hairs. Yeah, I yes. think that is why you guys sometimes hate me. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, only if you, if you know the limits, you know how to ha to use it properly. Yeah. Um, finding workarounds is, is uh, kind of my game in capture. <laughs> <laughs> and it is so fun because you always find something new and uh, or find a technique or a, a a way of, yeah, working around. We can get pretty surprised sometimes when we see things uh, that have been done in Capture and you go, oh, you can do that. Okay, <laughs> right. Never thought of that. Me as well. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but sometimes, or what I, what I uh, tell everyone who is asking me how to do something, try to build it as close to reality as it is, and mm -hmm. Capture can do it then. I want my um, lighting designers to have a tool which is, yeah, which is easing the, their work and make their lives a lot of easy, a lot easier than. That's good. That's our that's the our purpose is yes. to make and your life easier and. At, at the moment, it, it's or at least here, it's more used for paperwork and mm -hmm. plots and right. not for. Previous or so designing? Is it like mostly post-production documentation or pre-production documentation? Both of them. Uh, like pre-production, uh, they get a lighting plot, they get um, uh, equipment report to just find the things from the storages because right. our ways are uh, quite long. Mm. So okay. this set is now just standing here because it's uh, one of our repertoire pieces from last season and the first show of it is to tonight and so they had get, yesterday they had a rehearsal okay. um, otherwise we would have a lot of guys building up a set for tonight mm. with this all our set pieces have to fit into that elevator <gasps> so this is right. one that's of the our, hard limit that that's the hard limit Basically, the hard limit is the door upstairs, but um, this is the second limit. Um, mm. right. With this elevator, we move set parts. So here's the cozy corner. That's the cozy corner um, with uh, little equipment for uh, mm -hmm. daily use. A little workbench for uh, repairing small things. Uh, as well as cooking and drinking. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Here, we, for example, we, we build a lot of um, set pieces in LED, oh. um, which, which is the most challenging part in, in Capture, actually, um, mm. to make such that, forms that as an LED. I don't want to just throw on it a illuminated uh, material or uh, emissive material. I just want to have the LEDs inside. So in this case, for instance, is there any element of pixel mapping or is it like the whole thing is? Um, I think in this case, it's just the whole thing. Yeah, yeah this is just the whole thing. Hmm. Um, but we have also, we, our workshop experiments a lot with uh, LEDs and pixel mapping and um, lots of different um, uses of LEDs, LED stripes. They built a lot of prototypes. Um, we will see them mm -hmm. in the other house or where the workshop is. Um, we work at the moment. We're working on a on a replacement for um, fluorescent 
uh, tubes, sure. yeah. which have a, uh, an angle of uh, 30, uh, 360 degrees, yeah. <clears throat> which is basically the Using most... Using lead worms? Um, added these stripes with a, with a rope in the center and a lot of epoxy resin. And I show you the, the prototypes uh, later and you will see a lot of them in the show tonight. Hmm. So this is uh, oh. quite... So here is where you make the sonography for he all the stages or yeah. mostly this one? Uh, no, for all of the stages. Okay. Um, the workshop is, is small but good equipped. Um, mm. Nice. And yeah, this is, uh, we have the carpets here. Uh, we have the uh, metal workshop over, over in, the, in the other building. Mm -hmm. And the costume department is actually um, across the street. And we have a painter's workshop uh, on the third, fourth floor. Right. Yeah. They're building set parts. <clears throat> and because of the short ways, they can really. Yeah, the metal and, and wood workshops are close. So. Met metal and wood are always working together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Well, should, should not should always, work, but. Should yeah. work always together. And the, yeah. the way is not that far to yeah. go ask some, someone. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah.